Steve, going into tonight's game, we talked about it being important to build on that defense and getting back to your habits and getting to your good spots. How would you just describe the defensive effort and the mindset of the team tonight? It was a disaster. I mean, how, how do you... How else do you, do you say it? I mean, I didn't see the will, didn't see the desire, um, or the connectivity necessary to, to get stops and get rebounds. <laughs> Following up on that, I mean, you're usually in here, two questions, very quickly. Um, what was the message that you were imparting to the team after? That was it. You know, we just got to make a bigger commitment. It's got to mean more and we got to care more. And Obviously, you've talked repeatedly about, you know, making sure that the team is staying together and not pulling away from the game plan defensively. I mean, are you worried that somehow your message is just simply not getting through? I know you're repeating it. Are you concerned that they're not hearing it? No, they're hearing it. I mean, they're they're arguing with each other about missing coverages and the lack of communication out there. So, you know, just too many errors, too many errors on top of lack of effort at times. And... Uh, you know, sometimes you just, it, it, it's not even about schemes, it's about fighting. You know, whether it's, uh, you know, any defense, if you're letting a guy run in and grab an offensive rebound un, unopposed, I mean, it's it's hard to, to get stops. You know, they're just going to get two or three chances at the basket. Coach, where do you guys go from here? Yeah, we have to look deep, deep inside ourselves and what we want to do. What do we want to accomplish? You know, do we want to give up on this um, because it's been difficult early? Or do we want to stay the course and start to build something? You know, we've had a lot, a lot of really good days here early in the season. And, you know, when we, we've lost a couple games and it's, it's shook our mentality, shook our mentality hard. And, you know, we're not seeing the same competitive spirit, same purpose. And uh, if we don't clean that up, it's, it's, it's not going to get better. That's the only way to get out of, out of difficult positions is to have character and competitive spirit. Steve, you talked about the lack of will. I mean, Indiana came in, I think, only 10, 11 guys, no Miles Turner. Do you think some of that maybe was from overlooking them, or, or did that come from somewhere else? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, anyway, you slice it. You know, when you're one and four, you got an opportunity to win a basketball game. Uh, offensively, there's not really too many problems. You know, I think we shot 36 from three, but, you know, it was a night where we had a ton of good looks. Could have been up... You know, it could have been up 15 or more at the half, and we gave them 20 points in the last four minutes, 19 points in the last four minutes of the half. Um, just took our foot off the gas, and, and then their confidence was high. Obviously, they uh, shot it exceptionally well, but, you know, there's still got to be a point where you, you say enough's enough. You know, if you can make threes, but we're going to make it hard on you. We're not going to give you any rebounds. We're not going to get lose our matchups and transition so that you're, you know, wide open, lining it up when you've already made 23s in a game. Steve, you talked about the belief and the will. You're in there every day with them. Do you get the sense that they want to dig down that deep right now? You know, like I said, there's been so many days where we've challenged them and they've responded, you know, whether it was the Miami game in the preseason, uh, you know, it was the Pelicans game. We came back against Toronto and then, you know, we had a really good half in Memphis. And, you know, when things don't go our way, we haven't had enough kind of um, resilience to fight through and that's that's what we're seeking right now is some resilience some character and being able to continue to find a way to play for each other and do the little things the selfless acts that it takes every day to try to get possessions in your favor and to get stops get rebounds help your teammates uh, play together offensively you know we've obviously seen tons of glimpses but not enough uh, sustainability and you know Without that sustainability of effort, without will, you know, it's, it's not going to turn. So we got to make some decisions. I know you got to watch the tape, but <sighs> you were standing out there watching it. Why do you think tonight the effort was so poor? Mm. Well, it's, I mean, we're, we're getting, it's, it's, you know, it's interesting. I mean, like tonight, a lot of their threes were one on one threes. Um, same in, in Memphis. You know, it's, it's happened to us a little bit. So ability to guard the basketball one on one has hurt us. Um, the effort, it, 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 it's not always effort physically, it's the effort mentally to make sure we're clean on our calls, um, taking it for granted, um, not talking to one another, having causing confusion, and, and guys are getting too many good looks. And, and as you can see what happens when they get confidence, their lights out. So, yeah, we dug ourselves too big a hole, and we have to really think hard about how, how committed we are to doing this. Thanks, Steve. Thanks.